Greetings from South Africa. Today I'd like to share with you some stories from my recent dreams and tracking in the Kalahari retreats. This, these last retreats have been incredible and really blessed and there's been many stories and one story in particular that has stood out for me was one of the San elders, one of the Bushman elders asking to take part in our shrine tent ceremonies and uh, this was incredible and uh, I of course said yes and then he proceeded to bring his whole family into the shrine tent and we sang together, we danced together, we drummed and we prayed and there was something really incredible when we, when we all prayed together hearing the sound of the sand bushmen and their beautiful click language praying and dedicating themselves to the great spirit to Kamata and then hearing the sounds of my fellow retreatants from all around the world praying together and in that moment I realized my vision of the dreams and tracking retreats being realized my vision of ancient and modern, modern man coming together in a circle to help revision and reimagine our collective humanity and uh, so this has come to pass and is coming to pass the more we do these retreats the more we go into the Kalahari which is like the Garden of Eden one of the most wild unpolluted uh, undomesticated places left on the planet as we come together to learn about nature and learn about our collective humanity and our ancestors and dreams as we come together in this way then there is hope for our beautiful planet so as me and uh, Rikau, the Bushman elder, shook hands and looked at one another with grace and love, I noticed a big vulture coming towards us and flying over the, flying over the shrine tent. And I saw that as a wonderful sign of our work being blessed because the vulture is one of the Sangoma birds because it represents an animal that helps to to get rid of poison because the vulture has this incredible ability of of transmuting poison transmuting like the shadow of of the world so it's just like the Sangoma the Sangoma helps to transmute shadow energy and darkness so as I saw the vulture flying over I felt yes this meeting with the sand bushman is being blessed and also this work in, the, of, in terms of the dreams and tracking and tr uh, dreams and and tracking in the Kalahari retreats is being blessed so after the Kalahari we went into the Okavanga Delta and uh, we saw some incredible sightings of animals and one of the sightings in particular that I thought was really beautiful was a baby foal, a baby zebra. It was about two to three weeks old and it came to our Jeep and it wouldn't leave us. And its mother was, was circling the Jeep and was really worried, but its, its little baby wouldn't leave us. So eventually, eventually we carried on driving away from the foal and the foal <laughs> kept following us. And uh, our local Botswana guide said to us that this was a wonderful sign because the zebra represents harmony and uh, and I thought that was a, a wonderful ending to the retreats and um, and something that will stay with all of us and the other thing that we saw that was quite incredible was was a, a lioness with her four cubs and uh, she was teaching her cubs how to how to hunt and uh, how to forage and um, it was a wonderful to see her and um, so finally, I'd like to share with you about the rise of the goddess, which is my monthly webinar, which will be this Sunday. And the theme is going to be looking at the termites and the beauty of the termites. So what termites represent is, termites represent the great mother and our pursuit in merging with the great mother, merging with the goddess. Now termites are incredible creatures and one of the keystone species in the Okavanga Delta. There's three keystone species that help to create the Okavanga Delta and keep it healthy. 
One is the hippo, the other is the elephant, and the third is the termite mound, or the termites. And the termites exist through the grace of their queen. So underneath the termite mounds, close to the water table, you'll find one of the queens, and she's this long, long creature of about, you know, about, yeah, about this long, and she, she can survive up to 60 or 70 years close to the water table. So I want to speak a little bit about termites and about the Great Mother and how we can connect to this matriarchy. And as we do that, we come closer to the, the connection with Mother Earth and Gaia. And why is this important? Because the feminine energy is all around us. And when we can embrace that and listen to it, then there is a chance for incredible healing, not just for ourselves, but for the plants and animals on this planet. And the work that we are doing in terms of the Kalahari, taking people into the Kalahari, focusing on dreams and tracking, and then taking them into the Okavango, is a way of helping people to wake up to that Garden of Eden inside of us, and wake up to this incredible rise of the goddess that we're all part of. So I look forward to seeing some of you on my monthly webinar and also seeing some of you in Botswana next year for our 2024 Dreams and Tracking Retreats. Blessings.